Okay, we have a 2008 STI. Um, this car's been here before. We tuned it and we put an exhaust and air intake on it. And from standard, it made 160 kilos at the wheels. After that, we picked up a good 30 with only a couple of pans of boost, so it was a good thing. Um, now the customer's looking for get, to get some more grunt out of it and we want to be a little bit careful not to hurt the engine, so we're going to upgrade the pistons, put some forged pistons in it, and then we are putting a larger Garrett roller bearing turbocharger on it, which fits in the factory location, um, and that'll give us enough room to be able to put another four, maybe five pounds of boost, and maybe get another 40 or 50 kilowatts at the wheel, so it'll be a good thing. As I was saying, we're going to do a Garrett roller bearing turbocharger upgrade on this car, on this SDI. This is a 520 horsepower Garrett roller bearing turbocharger. Garrett don't make it to bolt up to the STI engine. So we've got a custom made exhaust housing which allows us to bolt up to the factory dump pipe, uh, up pipe and dump pipe. Um, and uh, these flow big, big numbers, um, allow us to put good 20, 25 pounds of boost into this engine. Um, it comes with a custom intake which allows us to bolt up to, from the turbocharger to the airflow meter. Um, so it's all pretty much bolt bolt on and, and play. To allow us to stick more boost in this engine, we need to make sure we've got pistons that are going to be strong enough. And Mal make a direct fit forging, um, very, very strong, designed for force induction applications. Um, and, and they're a good strong thing, which will go straight in the engine, very simply, no problems, straightforward. Okay, what we've got here is our 08 uh, STI. Come in for uh, a simple uh, power up kit a few weeks back. And what we basically did then was used a product that we used to reprogram the st car's standard computer. It enables us to recalibrate the fuel ignition timing, the boost, the boost cuts, the fuel cuts, the speed cuts, everything and anything that's in there that does anything, we are able to adjust. Uh, we did this for him and he took it away and he was wrapped. He thought it was, the car was went much better, but he thought he'd like to go a bit further, push it a bit harder and make a bit more power. So it came back and we put a, a set of forged pistons in it because uh, we know that the weak link in these, this model car is the pistons. And so he just said, like, let's just do it from the start. We'll put a set of pistons in it, put the big turbo on it and uh, see if we can't get some more power out of it. So that's what I'm about to do now. Uh, I've got my laptop and everything set up ready to do it. Uh, WRXs and all the Subarus, for, I've been tuning them now probably for about eight years, been reflashing the standard computers, and for as long as I've been doing them, they're, they're a great thing for power-up kits. They run very rich from the factory, and they keep them very safe. So they're, they're a perfect candidate for doing it, this sort of thing. Uh, it's quite easy to lean them off a bit and give them a bit more boost, and the, the difference on the road is, is quite large. It's quite good. So. This one here, we'll uh, see how hard we can push it and see how far we can go, and it uh, should be good.
you slacker. Mate, I'm going over to check out the Lolux project. Apparently Craig's got uh, part of it in paint. Oh, very good. Yeah, so it should look good. Um, how'd you go with the STI? Yeah, good. good. Yeah. yeah, it goes really well. Made, Excellent. Uh, 220 kilowatts, mate. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. the customer would be happy with that. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, as well. excellent. All right, no worries, mate. I've got to get going anyway, so I'll uh, catch you later. Have a good evening. Last week on the show, you would have seen the Lolux project, and um, we are progressing very slowly with that job. Um, you can see next to me, I've got the engine here. Everything's been polished and put back onto the engine, uh, the intake manifold that Georgie made, the rocket covers, we've moved oil fillers. Georgie's gone to the trouble of making nice covers for the coil packs to give it a nice clean finish. The uh, exhaust manifolds, which are stainless steel, have been polished. So the engine's all assembled and ready to go back into the car. We've got a heap of other parts back from the polisher. We've got the custom radiator shroud that George made with our logo in it, the radiator, the intercooler, piping, again, stainless steel, dump pipes, exhaust pipes have all been polished. Really gone to a lot of trouble with this car to, to give it the bling look under the bonnet. The customer, that was his brief, that's what he wanted. Um, you can see uh, the actuator brackets, the piping, the turbo housings, everything's been polished for that bling look. The other thing that we've done, which is something the customer really wanted us to uh, make sure that we did, rather than just make the thing go, he wanted it to stop as well. So we've had to custom make because an 07 uh, Hilux, traditionally you can't buy performance brakes for them. They're not sort of a performance car. We've had to get uh, the rotors and brakes custom made to suit that car. You can see they're a two-piece rotor, 360 mil diameter, 330 mil on the rear, again two-piece. Um, six piston front calipers and four piston rear calipers. Um, look at the size of that baby, that's just going to look awesome under the wheels. This car's got 22 inch wheels so the brakes are going to fill it out nicely and not, not look ridiculous if you had the, the standard brake caliper and rotor. So um, yeah, we've got it all here ready to go. I believe the car's at the paint shop at the moment and hopefully uh, be back to the workshop real soon so that we can start assembling all this uh, stuff back into the car. Okay, what we've got here is the dyno graph for the Lolux project. Uh, standard the car makes from the factory approximately 170 kilowatts at the engine. Uh, we're currently making 200, nearly 230 at the rear wheels which equates to around 300 kilowatts at the engine. So it's a good gain. Uh, to get that basically, as you probably already know, that it's been twin turboed and we fitted an M800 uh, Motec ECU. So we've got full control over all the fuel and ignition uh, to actually get the best out of it, which is what we nearly got now. I think we can do a bit more tickling and get a little bit more, but it's pretty close to what we're going to get. So once we'd finished our part of the fabrication and assembly process, the car's now gone on off to uh, a good friend of ours here at HPF, Craig Munro, who you would know as the owner of TryHard, the awesome Horsepower Hero winning car. We uh, sent the car over there quite a few months ago now, and he has gone through an amazing process of shaving, cutting, removing every bit of um, you know, light, indicators, door handles, um, really giving it that shaved Californian look. And uh, he's also gone to town on the paint fitting, uh, sorry, applying um, a awesome blue pearl color. Uh, car is gonna be absolutely spectacular when it's done. And I think combined with the fully bling engine bay, chrome and polished componentry, the, the combination is just going to be absolutely awesome. So really look forward to getting this project back together again and seeing the end result and something that I think that uh, you know, we'll be really proud of and showcase some of our skills here at HBF.
Well, this is the bike that the customer wanted the car based on, but he actually wanted something extra done, which we've done by adding pearl over the top of the base colour. Um, we tried all different samples, sent them over to the horsepower factory and they had a look at them, got back to us, told us which uh, chip to spray it to, and um, we've basically done the car from that. Now there's a bit of a uh, process to painting this colour. This is what we call a three layer pearl. And it was based on the bike that we showed you before. Uh, that's the base colour, you put that down on the panels. We had all the panels off the car. We painted them on the inside, out. Same with the doors, all off the car. And then we got the panel beaters to come along, bolt all the parts on. And then we put our pearl over the top, which is sapphire blue pearl, which was about 10% to 90% binder, which is like a clear. And uh, once the panel beaters bolted on all the parts, the painter came along and applied the pearl over the top to keep all the colour consistent. Um, so then there's no colour variation from the doors to the guards. And then once he's done all that, the panel beaters came along, unbolted all the parts and then cleared them. And that's the finish that we got straight off the gun. One of the things that uh, they wanted done with this car was to fill in where the, the roof roller mould goes, which is generally that black strip that runs from the back to the front. And how we've done that is wel welding a metal plate from the back to the front in. And obviously when you weld that in, it'll warp the roof to such a big flat area. So then we've got to tap it up, file it, fill it, and then um, finish it off. One of the other things that we've cleaned up on this car were some of the ugly lines that ran down here and across the back of the um, cabin. Uh, we didn't bother about down below here because the tub will sit up to about here. One of the other great features about keeping all the panels smooth and no crevices was taking out the door handles that, you know, pretty ugly things. Um, so we filled in panel around here, welded it in, and obviously by doing that, it does distort the panel a little bit, so panel beater's got to knock it out and uh, then file it off and finish it off. As you can see with the firewall, we've made a one-piece firewall. We've welded a plate from here to the other side and we've scalloped all around where the brake booster goes and the heater pipes there. Um, so when the motor goes in, it's just nice and flat. We haven't got any of the ugly lines anywhere. It's um, certainly a, a customised engine bay, especially with all the tubs welded in. It all looks great. These guards, we had to uh, get rid of the lip that normally run around the inside here but we had to keep the stiffness of the guard. So how we've done that is by welding some wire rod right around it and then tapping the guard around that wire rod and welding it. Then what we've done is we've filed all around it and, um, and also got rid of the indicator that was sitting there by welding in a little plate. And obviously got the guards perfectly straight. It should look like a good customised car once it's finished. All right, we've uh, rubbed down all the panels here. We're going to uh, prep sole them all, which uh, takes all the contaminants off them, so they're ready to paint. Then we're going to blow the car down, uh, all the panels, which allows it to uh, have less dirt in it. Then we're going to start putting a base coat down. After we put the base coat down, we'll scuff it down. Uh, that allows less dirt underneath the pearl coat, because if it's under the pearl, you will then uh, end up with uh, the dirt showing up a lot more because the, it sits on top of each piece of dirt. Then we'll uh, put some more base coat down, then we'll uh, put the pearl on and finish it off with a clear coat. And that will be the process to paint all these panels. All right, we've put the base coat on now and we're making up the pearl. Being a three layer pearl, you actually put this, pot, this pearl here, it's called sapphire blue. It's a very strong pearl. You mix it with a, a, actually a clear base coat and that becomes a binder to actually put it on even. The way with three layer pearls, 
the good thing about them is you don't actually put it into the colour. It doesn't change the colour. It actually makes you look through the colour, looks through the pearl to see the actual blue. And wherever you look at that on the light, you actually see the pearl. And as you move around the car, the pearl follows you as long as you've got daylight on a spot. So it actually, when you're looking at it from the side, you don't see the pearl. But when you look at it head on with some light, you get to see the pearl. That's the great thing about this stuff. So we'll make it up and then we can uh, get, get on with the job and put some clear coat on. For our clear coat, we've chosen to stick with our Glossary products. You've got your clear here. We believe this one's the best. Uh, it might cost a lot, where you're looking up you know, $900 just for a clear kit compared to some products, but it's unbeatable. The way it flows out, the way it just, when you come off your gun, you can just tell the difference. And you, uh, you don't have to try, it just does it itself and the finish tells for itself.